since somebody said in the comments to give a shout out to UNC Green, Greensboro men's basketball, I'm going to give them a shout out for winning the Baja Mar hoops. Not, not so, not, not so, uh, championship in a double S A U. If I apologize if I mispronounced that name, I meant that part. And they were favored by two and a half against UIC in this game. And now, UNC Greensboro. Who defeated number uh, top fifteen Arkansas team at the time? Went into this tournament and won like seventy six to sixty four against Kansas City in the first game, then beat Delaware eighty eight to seventy seven, then beat U UIC this past game by only a point fifty eight to fifty seven. So it's never an easy feat, and they did that right after. That Arkansas went up to this point after they lost to Vanderbilt. I mean, that's that's impressive, and of course now UNC Greensboro is five and one on the season, and in the game they were trailing twenty nine to twenty four at half, but they came back and scored thirty four points while allowing twenty eight. When you go to the play by play in terms of the second half, that is, it was down to the wire. And they met like in 50, around 58 seconds left. They made a one on one, I mean, one out of two free throws, and they were only up by one. And Jaden Brunell from UIC made a jump shot. Around 10 seconds left. And it was a shooting foul apparently because UIC fouled on UNC Greensboro. They made Donovan Atwell made the first timeout UIC. Then he made the second and UNC Greensboro called another timeout. They couldn't get a shot off. Apparently. So, that's very impressive. And UIC shot the ball better than UNC Greensboro slightly. 39.2% from the field on 51 attempts. 26.7% from the three-point line on 30 attempts. But 69.2% on the free throw line on 13 attempts. Make two more of those, UIC, you win the game. Plain and simple. 40 rebounds, 7 of those offensive, 11 assists, 0 steals, which is not good. 5 blocks, that's good. 14 turnovers could be reduced. 16 fouls could be a little bit better. And 19 points off the bench. Only had one double digit score that had 14 points. However, UIC did have three other, four other players with eight points or more that combined for. Okay, that's 16 plus 18. That's 34. So, but UNC Greensboro had. Four double digit scores in this game. The combined four, okay, that's 20, 31, 46 points. And they also had one other starter with with seven points and one other player in general with seven points. So they had a lot of balance, as you can tell. And they only had five bench points. And they still won the game. They didn't shoot, they didn't shoot as good, like I said, as UIC, but 37.5%. From the field on 56 attempts, 15.8% from the three-point line on 19 attempts, 61.9% on on free throws on 21 attempts. That has to improve for both of these teams. 30 rebounds, so high, five of those offensive, seven assists, not as good as UIC. Nine steals, that's way better than UIC. Three blocks, not as good, but they only committed three turnovers. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Three. And 14 fouls. So, you know, that's pretty impressive. And 
UIC is in the Missouri Valley Conference. And they play Illinois State next. Yeah, that's currently three and three. And then they have other games like on the list. First game in December is Jacksonville State at their place. That's three and four. Green Bay at home. That's three and three. Western Michigan at home at two and four. Then in current word at three and four. So let's just name some games right there for you want to see. Now for UNC Greensboro. They do have the following games on the on the docket. They got apparently like a lower level school or something because it's not showing under Division One at all. William Peace, which. I would have to think that's a NAIA school or Division II school or something. But I'm going to double check that real quickly. And how am I supposed to know every school and every division? It's hard. So I apologize if it... Yeah, that's a Division three school, so figures. Okay, apparently the ESPN app is just not showing. Okay, they got like Eastern Kentucky next, and that's the following game. At home. Then they got Elon at home. They got at Marshall. And then High Point on the road as well. So that's just to name some games right there. And this is just a shout out to them for winning... Not tournament, by the way. Since somebody asked me to do that, I'm going to do it. And I wanted to do it after being asked. Anyway, so anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later on the road of 600 subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal is a thousand more. So make money off this. Of course, liking the video, comment video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does as well. And if you're watching, you know, I appreciate it. But if you're watching and not subscribed, Hit the subscribe button, it's free, and hit the notification bell as well. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.